the beginning. Huh? Who's there? Oh, oh. You Justice League Crisis and Infinite Earths Part 1 is a 2024 DC anime movie directed by Jeff Warmester. It is based on the 1985 to 1986 DC comic book series created by Marv Wolfman, George Perez, and Dick Giornano. To summarize, there's this unstoppable force of destruction rampaging through the multi-universes, and a mysterious character named the Monitor gathers hundreds of superheroes from multiple Earths to try to stop Total Armageddon. Now, I watched the movie with my dad, and he said he had no idea what was going on. There's a lot of jumping through different universes and characters introduced that I can understand the confusion. I think if you're not familiar with the comic series, then you'll have trouble with it. I have not read the comic, but got the premise. I did have questions though, like who's that shady guy in the suit who gets a costume makeover? He seems important, but I had little screen time. Maybe he'll play a bigger role in part two. I did like this vision of the Flash slash Barry Allen who he followed throughout the movie. He's the traditional Flash being more masculine and likable than the Ezra Miller version could ever be. I cared about him and his relationship with Iris. I also liked how all the female characters were drawn. They were all feminine in appearance and didn't look mannish. There's no nudity but some nice cartoon booba shots if you're into that. Plus it's always nice to see Barbara Gordon's Batgirl. Overall I wouldn't recommend watching it. It had some action but felt long and boring for an hour and 30 minute movie. It ends on a cliffhanger which I think is supposed to be impactful but I think most people like my dad who are not familiar with the whole DC comic universe will just be left scratching their head and be annoyed on how this movie wasted their time. Anyway, let me know what you think. Have you read the comic series? Please leave your comments below. I always like hearing from you. Thanks for watching.